Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. Let's come before the Lord. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. And something to read, Ambrose, Bishop of Milan. So, a rather interesting chap indeed. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory, the Lord of hosts? He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind.
as we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 62 I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. So many enemies against one man, all of them trying to kill me. To them I'm just a broken down wall or a tottering fence. They plan to topple me from my high position. They delight in telling lies about me. They praise me to my face but curse me in their hearts. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honour come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. O oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind, and the powerful are not what they appear to be. If you weigh them on the scales, together they are lighter than the breath of air. Don't make your living by extortion or put your hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the centre of your life. God has spoken plainly and I have heard it many times. Power, O oh God, belongs to you. Unfailing love, O oh Lord, is yours. Surely you repay all people according to what they have done. Psalm 63 O oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you, my whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me more than the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. I lie awake thinking of you, meditating on you through the night. Because you are my helper, I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, your strong right hand holds me securely. But those plotting to destroy me will come to ruin. They will go down into the depths of the earth. They will die by the sword and become the food of jackals. And the king will rejoice in God. All who swear to tell the truth will praise him, while liars will be sentenced and silenced. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah chapter 47 Come down, virgin daughter of Babylon, and sit in the dust, for your days of sitting on a throne have ended. O oh, daughter of Babylonia, never again will you be the lovely princess, tender and delicate. Take heavy millstones and grind flour. Remove your veil and strip off your robe. Expose yourself to public view. You will be naked and burdened with shame. I will take vengeance against you without pity. Our Redeemer, his name is the Lord of Heaven's armies, is the Holy One of Israel. O beautiful Babylon, sit now in darkness and silence. Never again will you be known as the Queen of Kingdoms. For I was angry with my chosen people and punished them by letting them fall into your hands. 
But you, Babylon, showed no mercy to them. You oppressed even the elderly. You said, I will reign forever as queen of the world. You did not reflect on your actions or think about their consequences. Listen to this, you pleasure-seeking, pleasure-loving kingdom. Living at ease and feeling secure. You say I am the only one and there is no other. I will never be a widow or lose my children. Well, both these things will come upon you in a moment. Widowhood and the loss of your children. Yes, these calamities will come upon you despite all your witchcraft and magic. You felt secure in your wickedness. No one sees me, you said. But your wisdom and knowledge have led you astray. And you said, I'm the only one, and there is no other. So disaster will overtake you, and you won't be able to charm it away. Calamity will fall upon you, and you won't be able to buy your way out. A catastrophe will strike you suddenly, one for which you are not prepared. Now use your magical charms, use the spells you have worked on all these years. Maybe they will do you some good, maybe they will make, maybe they can make someone afraid of you. All the advice you received has made you tired. Where are your astrologers, those stargazers who make predictions each month? Let them stand up and save you from what the future holds. But they are like straw burning in a fire. They cannot save themselves from the fire. You will get no help from them at all. Their hearth is no place to sit for warmth. And all your friends, those with whom you've always done business since childhood, will go their own ways, turning a deaf ear to your cries. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice, the desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 to the end of the chapter. Therefore we never stop thanking God that when you received his message from us, you didn't think of our words as mere human ideas. You accepted what we said as the very word of God, which of course it is. And this word continues to work in you who believe. And then, dear brothers and sisters, you suffered persecution from your own countrymen. In this way, you imitated the believers in God's churches in Judea who, because of their belief in Jesus Christ, suffered from their own people 
the Jews. For some of the Jews killed the prophets and some even killed the Lord Jesus. Now they have persecuted us. They failed to please God and work against all humanity as they tried to keep us from preaching the good news of salvation to the Gentiles. By doing this, they continue to pile up their sins. For the anger of God has caught up with them at last. Dear brothers and sisters, after we were separated from you for a little while, though our hearts never left you, we tried very hard to come back because of the intense longing we have to see you again. We wanted very much to come to you and I, Paul, tried again and again, but Satan prevented us. After all, what gives us hope and joy and what will be our proud reward and crown as we stand before our Lord Jesus when he returns? It is you, yes, you are our pride and joy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now it is time to awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ to make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, Charles, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in a way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for evermore. Father God, we thank you for this day, another day to live, to praise, to work to your glory. Lord, we come before you now with our thanksgiving. We come before you now, joyful, for all that you are in us. Use us this day, consecrate this day and us to your service, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Father God, for the needs of the world. As we see 
so many terrible things occurring at this time. As we look at the struggles between nations and within nations, Lord, we pray for your peace. We pray for your provision to be seen, for the governments to be good, for your word to be heard. We pray for those of faith who stand against wrong governments, that they would act rightly, that they would serve and respond with integrity, with courage, most of all with prayer. As we look at the news, we see a volcano in Indonesia spewing ash 15 kilometers into the sky. As we look at all that is happening in the world, we see a broken earth, a natural world no longer naturally responding and to a, a world that is unnaturally governed. Lord, we lift to you the world. We pray for your peace. Heal our broken world, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the church. We pray for the church and its witness, for its words, for its actions. As we look across the world, we look at the church and its words. We pray for a church that is being oppressed and opposed as a, a filmmaker, Sharon Rocky Roggio, has just created a film. She has been promoting it before its release on the social media TikTok. And Lord, it's a very strange word indeed. It calls upon texts of the Bible to be removed. It calls upon terms to be wrongly placed in the church's words. Father God, we know that your word is not always cheerfully received. But Father, we pray that we would keep to your word, the written word, the living word that is Jesus, and that we would be inspired by your Holy Spirit. And as we pray for the words and the works and the holy things of church, we pray for the saints, those living saints who see us praying daily for their needs, for our family members, for the older family members for whom we care, for the people we know who are in care homes and in end-of-life care at this time, for our youngsters, for the children, the babies, the toddlers, and all families. We pray that your hand, your light, your love would be on them and us. So let us bring before the Lord the people on our hearts and minds this day. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. 
God of hosts who called Ambrose from the governor's throne to be a bishop in your church and an intrepid champion of your faithful people. Mercifully grant that as he did not fear to rebuke rulers, so we with like courage may contend for the faith we have received. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us, awaiting his coming in glory, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Whoops, should have changed that, but of course I haven't. Thanks for being with us, guys. Have a good day. Stay safe, stay warm. And we'll catch you soon. Bye for now. Have a good day. Bless you.